What's up everyone, it's Travis and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be transforming myself from this into this. So here we are, another day, another makeup look. And as you can tell, I've actually shaved my face for this drag makeup look. If you watched this previous video of mine, I said that I didn't want to shave my face because at that point in time I didn't want to. And I didn't think it was something I needed to do. But in this video, I'm going to go the whole mile and actually shave it. So, And I'm also in a completely different area of my room than I usually am. Uh, I think I've moved around this room like five times in my history of uploading. I don't know, this is a comfortable spot. And also because where I usually put my camera to record, there's something that you guys are going to see, which I don't want you guys to see yet until that video comes out. Those who follow me on Instagram, link in the description, will know what I'm talking about. Oh my god. So, update. I don't know where my lash glue is, but I got my liquid latex, which is basically the same as lash glue. Oh, and also I found out something easier for me to do with my ring light. If I have it off in a distance and turned up like basically all the way and have it pointing up to the ceiling, you don't get some crazy glare and reflection on my glasses. So, okay, so first I'm gonna go ahead and prime. You guys know I'm in love with the Professional Matte Rescue Primer. I haven't seen many people actually use this one. A lot of people use the um, other one. <laughs> I don't know what it's called right now. That one is really, really good, but I can't use it because I think I've said it in a really old video. It really dries out my skin. I can put it on and it'll make my makeup look good for like half an hour and then are we all flaky? And it says like in the instructions of like applying it is you can always put more on in case like there's a spot of your makeup that comes off and I'm like, yes, but the spot where the makeup is coming off is because of the primer. So that kind of doesn't help. But then I decided to try out this one and this one has been a complete lifesaver because it is so hydrating and I'm never dry with this primer and it does basically the same thing as the other one. Just going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It is a tried and true legend. I'm just concealing all those horrible areas that no one enjoys. <laughs> and all my pimples, my bad, bad acne. My facial hair really does a great job of hiding. So uh, shaving kind of exposes my entire face. Oh my God, do I have? Oh god. I don't even know what that was about, but I thought I'd leave it in because I edit out a lot of stuff of just me being goofy, so I thought I would leave it in. <laughs> then I'm just going to go in with my foundation, which again is Tarte. It is Tarte Face Tape Foundation. I would highly suggest always going in with a damp beauty blender when you're applying concealer or foundational cream foundations or whatever, because now obviously not dripping wet, because that'll just won't help. Hold it under the water and squeeze it a few times and let it absorb and get twice the size because they do get humongous compared to their regular size. And then put it in your hand, squeeze all the water out of it. And if you still think there's more, get a towel, wrap it up and like push it, like beat the water out of it if you have to, but. <laughs> beat the devil out of it. You know, it really does do wonders compared to a dry beauty sponge. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Mayron Cream Blend Stick in white. And this is just going to be my highlight area. And I'm not going to like go all the way out because then I'll look crazy. Then taking the same beauty sponge, I'm just going to blend it. Then, this might be risky, but hear me out. We're going to go in with a little bit of black. Like, a tiny bit. You know, what if ASMR is my true calling? I'd like to try an ASMR video, that'd be fun. Personally, I do experience ASMR and I listen to ASMR all the time to like help me get to sleep and it really does do the trick. Um, but I know some people out there find it really creepy. And I mean, there is a creepy aspect to everything really. There will always be that small collection of people that will take it as a sexual thing or perform it as a sexual thing. But it's really not meant to be. But I'm just getting a really small beauty sponge and dabbing the smallest amount of that, that is just the same Mayron stick, and just like that. And then without getting any new product, I just use what's left on there to go down the edges of my nose. Marshmallows. The snozzberries taste like snozzberries. This is gonna be the thinnest damn nose you ever did see. Okay, then we're just taking the beauty sponge that I was using before and using that to, to kind of diffuse the contouring. Cause we will go at it with a little bit of 
shadow, but not too much because again, I don't want it to be straight up black. It's just supposed to be a bit of a gray. The goal is like corpse, but like, like if Elvira was a mummy. Now I'm just going back in with that white paint stick and I'm just going to be going shoop, sharpening those edges, not all the way because then it will look like weird. Like so. Okay, then liner brush, green. We're just gonna get that liner brush with some of that white paint stick on it. And taking a little baby sponge. I'm not blending this too much because I do sort of want that shape still. And we don't want to over blend it because then it will go over like our contour lines. And then I'm going to set my face. And today's look, I'm going to be using the Mayron Color Set Powder, Translucent Setting Powder. Now when I'm applying setting powder, I always breathe out as I'm applying it. So like I'll be breathing in as I'm picking up more powder. And then as I'm applying, I'll just breathe out because I don't want to get clown lung. That's like a serious condition when you like breathe in too much like talcum powder. Now while that's setting, I'm just going to go ahead and do my neck foundation. So I might just loosen my smock. And then while we're here, we're going to do our jawline contour with that black. We're just going to go with the tip of this sponge now. Get some of that black on there. Then we're going to blend. Now that is it for the neck. I'm just going to go ahead and set it. And the good thing about using a brush for this step is then I can then brush off all the powder on my face. And anyway, we've got some donuts here. <laughs> Just gonna have a quick snack break. Haha, <laughs> mukbang. I don't get the purpose of mukbang videos. Can someone tell me? Like, I don't watch a lot of them to kind of know the purpose of them, but there are like whole channels based off of mukbang. So like, I don't know. Is it just like a chit chat sesh while eating a whole crap load of food? It's just not my thing. Okay, so technically this video is also a little bit of a haul because I got the Coca-Cola palette, which I'm going to be trying, which by the way, these beauty sponges were the Morphe X Coca-Cola sponges. But yeah, I'm going to be diving into this palette, which I have already used a few times. Um, I was supposed to get around doing a haul, but I didn't do it because I was just too excited to use it. So I just used it. <laughs> we also got the mini James Charles palette, the Morphe 9W Smoke and Shadow palette, which is one of my new faves, and a Morphe highlight in the shade Lit. But first, Eyebrows. Glasses on. Eyebrow brush ready. Eyebrow product locked and loaded. So I'm just going to be using, as you could see, this Mayron cream stick and a Morphe angled brush that has a spool in the end, which I would usually use, but I um, shaved off my eyebrows. Start from basically where the beginning of my natural eyebrow would be and go, whoop, you know, whoop, whoop, and whoop. Oh my god. I'm not going to worry too much about the front of the brow because we're going to be doing that with our eyeshadow, but I'm just going to go ahead and set the cream brows. Actually, before we do that, stop! I don't know, what you're... Ah! you better stop! We're just going to get that white stick and a flat Morphe brush. This is the Coco. Oh my god, dude. I'm disgusting. I'm just gonna get that white Mayron cream stick and a flat Morphe brush. This is the Coca-Cola X Morphe brush. It doesn't have a number, it's just Morphe X Coca-Cola. And then we're just gonna clean up underneath the eyebrows. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and set my brows. We're just jumping into the James Charles X Morphe palette in the shade Single. And we're just going to deposit that shade in our crease. Then we're going to go in with the shade Social Blade and do that exact same thing, but on our other eye. Yes, yes, 
I'm doing split colors, oh my god. Then I'm just gonna go into the shade Daddy and deepen my crease on the green side. Then just going into the shade Escape and gonna be deepening our crease on this side. Then I'm just gonna be taking a rendition of all those shades onto my under eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and I'll be right back. Now, I added pink under both of my eyes. Now you're probably thinking that looks ridiculous, but I think it'll look pretty cool towards the end. So, let's go ahead and cut the crease. Just gonna be going with that flat brush again and a little bit of concealer. And lately I've been cutting my creases like really high. I don't know, it's just something new that I'm trying. But I like it, let me know what you think. Now I'm just gonna dry off that same brush and go into the shade Flashback, I think it's called, and just set that crease concealer. Then we're gonna go in with this little brush in the shade Spooky, which is just a black, and we're going to be doing some of that in our crease. Okay, time for eyeliner. And as per usual, we're just going in with the e.l.f. Blackest Black Intense Ink Eyeliner. And I literally just f kind of follow that line, but I don't start the eyeliner until about halfway across. And then I basically just like go at it diagonally. It is so strange to explain. Now, like when you close your eye, it looks really ridiculous, but with your eye open, which your eye is gonna be open most times, you know, in general. But in photos, whatever, your eyes will be open, so that doesn't really matter. Ta-da! And now, of course, we're just gonna fill that entire space in. And then, crazy, but we're gonna take that same eyeliner and just finish off our eyebrows. Then we're just gonna take that brush again with a little bit of concealer and just kind of open up our under eye, just underneath that eyeliner that we did, setting that with some eyeshadow, of course. Then we're just gonna clean that up underneath again with some more eyeliner. Now we're just gonna go ahead and finish up our contouring and our highlight. And I'm just using that Morphe 9W Smoke and Shadow Palette in this shade After Dusk, which is this little brown shade. And sometimes I do dip it in with this shade as well. Then just going in with a Morphe E62 brush, which is my usual nose contour brush. I'm using those two same shades. And then, to highlight my face, I spray my entire face with setting spray and then quickly go at it with some highlighter. So just using the Morphe X Coca-Cola Fan Brush and Morphe Highlighter in the shade Lit. I'm just going to highlight. Sometimes I will like go over my face again with some setting spray. I don't know why I do that, it's just something I like started doing. And I enjoyed it and it was giving me the results I was seeking, so... I just kept doing it. Then I'm just using my pinky to do my nose. A little bit on the upper bridge. A little bit down the middle and boop, 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 boop. Okay, next we're gonna be doing lips. So I'm just gonna be lining with the Black Moon Cosmetics shade Sleepwalker. And I'm not gonna be going all the way around with this black shade because I don't want the actual lip shade that I'm putting on to look too dark. I'm just going on the outer corners where the deepest parts of my mouth will be. Then I'm going to be going in with the shade Immortal, which I said in my Black Moon Cosmetics haul that I was thinking about using this shade as a lip shade for a drag look, and here we are. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. So now I'm going to go ahead and put on my lashes, which were also given to me by Black Moon Cosmetics. 
Now, I'm not too sure how they'll hold up with this eye look, considering the eyeliner is massive. Now, because I don't have my lash glue here, we're just gonna get that liquid latex, just dipping the end of a brush, like the handle end, like so, and getting the lash and literally just running it along the edge. Not too much, because then, you know, with lash glue or latex in this instance, less is more. And if you put too much on there, then it'll take forever to stick down properly. I'm just gonna set them aside to kind of get tacky. I have no idea where I put my lash glue. It might be in the bathroom. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and apply our first lash. So I'm going to put on some more eyelashes because I feel like the ones that I have on aren't as big as I would like them to. So we're just going to stack lashes on lashes to get our desired my cat is in here and she's causing quite a ruckus. These are just some old, old, old sugar pill lashes. I've had these for, God, over a, pro it would be over a year, probably two years. These are humongous. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the wig and I'll be right back. Oh my God, it's me. Can you believe it? Can you recognize me? Of course you can because you just watched me do this. And if you've stuck around this long, thank you for being here. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, family, coworkers, and your children if they're into drag. That is so cool and awesome. I hope you guys have an awesome day. If you want to follow me on all my social media, all the links will be in the description below. And there'll be some videos probably suggested to you as well in the cards over there, I think. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging around. It means so much to me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.